One of the most fascinating little-known layers of L.A.'s past occurred during the 30s and 40s, when the promise of Southern California's sun and open society brought Los Angeles a remarkable generation of emigres from Europe, including two of the greatest composers of the 20th century. One was Igor Stravinsky, who lived in West Hollywood for almost 30 years. The other was 12-tone pioneer Arnold Schoenberg, a refugee from Nazism who arrived in 1934. Other emigre artists included modern Germany's most revered writer, Thomas Mann, who settled in the Pacific Palisades in 1941. And English transplant Aldous Huxley, author of Brave New World, mocked and admired Southern California for 25 years. In the 1920s, it was love at first sight for Austrian architect Richard Neutra. Inspired by Southern California, his architecture expresses an open, unconventional way of life. Like millions of newcomers before him, Neutra's earliest LA impressions came from a sales pitch. His wife, Diona, remembers. While he was in Missouri, he saw a huge sign saying, California calls you. And, and he said, one day I'm going to get there. And he felt that this was a, a loose society, where it was much easier to, uh, to build something different than, for instance, in the east, on the East Coast. And, uh, and I think he really loved those angles.